Well, first at five tonight, it's a green world as millions around the globe mark Earth Day 2008. So tonight, we feature a few efforts here in our region to help the cause. Sure do. We begin tonight by uh, clearing the air around our most precious resource, our kids. There's a grassroot effort underway these days to reduce idle emissions, especially around school. CTV's Paul Hollingsworth learned more about this clean air effort today, and he joins us from Ten Talon Elementary, one of the schools involved in this effort. Paul. Well, Liz and Bruce, Idle Free is put on by the Children's Clean Air Network, and by its very design, the concept is rather simple. Children here and at other schools are being asked to tell older people to turn their cars off, cut down on the idling, and help keep the air clean, especially on Earth Day. Ron Zima is not a prophet, nor does he call himself a visionary. But when it comes to the air we breathe, he has a very simple and succinct message. All with the flick of a key, you're going to clear the air for our kids. Zima is quarterbacking Idle Free, an initiative put on by the Children's Clean Air Network, a group of young students who number in the thousands. Their task urge drivers to turn off their idling engines and help reduce the amount of CO2 released into the atmosphere. I'd like to know that like my kids or my grandchildren will be safe for the future generations and they will not have really bad sicknesses from all the pollution that we create by idling every day. Connie Potty is the principal at Tantalan Elementary School. Potty says since her school signed on to Idle Free, she's noticed the student body has become sensitive to the fact that what happens in the environment today could have a negative impact in the years to come. I think that's where it all comes from. They see the reality of that and they see what's been happening. Zima says Idle Free is gaining traction, but there are two problems. One, battling the perception that idling is actually good for your car, especially when drivers warm it up in the morning. The car dealers, mechanics, and their service techs will tell you idling is actually one of the worst things you can do for a car that's been built in the last 10 years. The second problem is securing broader support. Zima says so far government assistance has been non-existent. We need government. Why isn't government uh, teaching their, uh, their customers, their internal business units about idle free? It just makes sense. As for support from the private sector, several car dealerships have signed on, helping with things like financial costs and signage. We don't need to preach to everybody, but I think everybody can look at what they're doing in their own life and what can they do to uh, be a little less hurtful to the uh, environment. That We can educate consumers uh, at our dealerships as well as educating the kids, uh, <laughs> the kids of our customers. It's sort of a, a dual approach. Idle free also impacts the economy. Zima says if everyone avoided idling 10 minutes a day, the annual fuel savings in the HRM alone would equal several million dollars each year. It would also give children cleaner air to breathe. Liz, idle free is growing and rather rapidly. So far, Ron Zima says eight schools are on board, soon to be nine. That means thousands of students have bought into this concept and there's more information available online for educators and young people watching who want to learn more about idle free the website is www.childrenken.ca everything you need to know about idle free is on that website liz thank you paul you're welcome that's our paul hollingsworth in upper 10 talent tonight bruce well uh, you know uh, 